Hello again, I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician, and welcome to another one of my video shorts on current topics at electrical-online.com and of course right here on YouTube. Today I am going to finally solve the three-way switch for you. Now I did a video a while back using rope lighting to demonstrate the use of three-way switches and how they work. And that video is actually quite popular, but it's not in very good quality. It's shot in standard def, but it's a, a link is available here in the description to that because it's actually quite good in helping you visualize how a three-way works. However, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you a practical situation of a three-way switch on my demonstration wall back here. So we'll open up those switch boxes and show you how those connections are made in both the first switch, the second switch, and then at the light fixture, I'm going to draw it on a whiteboard, a grease board for you. But best of all, I'm going to give you the animations that are right out of my basics of household wiring electrical program. And that's the best possible way to understand, finally solve and demystify the three-way switch. It'll show you it, animated version of how the current flows through that circuit. Hey, and as an added bonus, we'll even show you the four-way switch. So again, a practical use. I'm going to tell you about it, I'm going to draw it on a little grease board, and I'm going to provide you the animations from the basics of household wiring. So if you haven't bought that program yet, you can get a, just a glimpse of how that works and how the animations work in that program coming right up. So here it is in a practical situation, all right? We have our neutral supply. So that's our neutral. It's coming into this circuit, going out to another part of the circuit. Nonetheless, there's a moret, there's a pigtail on this one. That's our supply neutral. This is our supply hot, okay? Pulling out this three-way switch, we're even gonna show you two different types of three-way switch, a decorator style, decora, and a standard style or a toggle style. So what's important here though is that this hot splice, that is gonna provide the common for our three-way switch network and this switch. So if you can see here, black identified screw is the common. One of the travelers is on top here. In this case, it's red. The other traveler is black on this side. And you can just double check to make sure that common is tied in to the hot splice here. Okay, our grounds are tied off as normal. They are connected to the straps bonding grounding straps in the in the outlet box there's tails provided for switches if the switch has a termination connection for it but like I say the important thing to remember the common screw the power in going to the black common on this three-way switch red and black are the travelers neutrals spliced together now there's a three wire cable leaving this box that three wire is going to show up in the other switch box. Let me show you. Here's the other end of that three wire cable, three wire plus ground. Another three way switch, same principle, different style. This is a toggle switch. Looking on this side, you see we've got the black common. We've got a black traveler on this side. And flipping it over, we have a lonely traveler, the red wire on the other side. Checking to make sure the black common is connected to this two wire cable, which goes up to the light. The travelers came in on the three wire from the other switch location. The red and the black from the three wire cable are the travelers. The neutrals are spliced through to the light. Let's go to the light. Here's the light outlet box. Neutral that's been spliced all the way through the first box through the first box where the first three-way is Spliced through the second box where the second three-way is and it arrives here at the light to provide you a neutral for your light fixture Here's the black wire that's come through the whole three-way network and it's ready to tie on to the light fixture And a ground for the light fixture if one is required Now again, I'm going to draw this out on a board for you so you can understand it. And we're going to add in all our animations from the basics of household wiring. Then you can actually see an animated look at how the current flows through this circuit. 
Now, let's see how a three-way switch works when in action. Electrical current travels from the power source and arrives at the common screw on the first terminal. The current will either try to pass to the traveler screw on the left or the traveler screw on the right. In our example, since the switch is in the down position, the current passes to the traveler screw on the left and will then try to travel along the black traveler wire until it reaches the second switch. If the second switch is in the up position, the current will stop, having nowhere to go. In this case, the light will be off. If the switch is in the down position, the arriving current will pass through to the common terminal screw and continue out to illuminate the light. The same will work if the electrical current arriving to switch number one's common screw finds that the switch is in the up position. The current will attempt to pass to the right traveler terminal screw and will try to continue along the red traveler wire. When it reaches the second terminal, it will stop if the switch is in the down position. If the switch is in the up position, the current will pass through to the common terminal and then out to illuminate the light. Okay, I've showed you the circuit in practicality where it's actually wired up. You've seen the animations. Now I'm going to show you my drawing of how this all works. So again, here, let's call this your white, neutral, coming in, spliced in the first box, your white, neutral, spliced in the second box, off it goes to the light, fixture outlet. Okay, power comes in, this is your hot, from the circuit feed, wherever that might be, to the common black terminal of the first three-way switch. Then you've got a three-wire cable that goes over here, white, which already is used as a neutral, black and a red. So let's just for simplicity of the drawing, let's draw these going up and over. So here, common screw in on the hot, then a traveler over to that traveler. That could be the red. Maybe we'll use the black for this one. It does not matter which two are used for travelers, black or red. So this one's black now. Okay, and then a switch works like this, a three-way. It's either in this position, in one if the toggle is up, or you push the toggle down, it connects here. So let's say it's in this position for now. And let's put this one in this position. And out of the black common screw, out, and you hook up your light here. So let's follow this through. Power coming in, common terminal. This switch is in this position. It continues on. This switch is in that position. The light doesn't work. Switch this switch, the light works. As you see, you've got a path for your current all the way through. Again, change the position of this one. Now we have no feed over here. And the light is off. You could turn this one back to this position. Now you do have a path for your current to flow to the light. And there you have it, my rudimentary drawing. I've got the animations for you. If you wanted to add a four-way switch in, the animation is gonna add that in. It's quite simple, actually. That four-way switch would just go in the middle of this circuit. So you'd bring a three-wire out of this first switch box into another one, and then another three-wire out to the far one. And in here, the four-way switch just works like this. Four terminals. That switch, in, when it's in one position, it goes like this. And in the other position, it goes like this. So again, if this one's feeding power on to the three-way, it's flowing here, this switch is in this position, good to go, light is on. You can see we're turning any one of these switches into a different position is going to break the circuit. Flip this one, now you're going like this, power is coming in, goes up here, nowhere to go, the light's off. Now let's see how this four-way switch setup will function when electricity is flowing through the circuit. Incoming current will arrive first at the first three-way switch's common terminal. With the switch in the down position, the current will pass through to the left traveler terminal 
and travel along the black traveler wire until it reaches our four-way switch. Here, with the switch in the down position, the current will pass down through the switch and continue along this black traveler wire until it reaches the second three-way switch. Once the current arrives here, it will pass through to the three-way switch's common screw if the switch is in the down position. In this case, the current has an unobstructed path through the circuit to reach and illuminate the light. Let's back out so we can see this path clearly. The benefit of a four-way switch setup is that at any switch along this path, you will be able to turn off or turn on the light. Notice how the path of the current is affected as we turn off and turn on the flow of current. A complete circuit is broken or created every time there is a flip of the switch. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel here at YouTube. Also check out my website at electrical-online.com. There's much more information there as well as our store where you can purchase the basics of household wiring. This is available in a DVD or as an instant download and it's simply the best electrical educational program there is on the market. We also have my course available now at udemy.com, that's u-d-e-m-y.com. It's called Learn the Basics of Household Wiring. It's a fully comprehensive course that will help you understand your home's electrical system and make you a more safe and competent weekend wiring warrior. Thanks again, I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician.